Ooh, we've got a brand new Mega Pokemon in Pokemon Go! And today I am going to try and do a solo on it and do a Shando Mega Evolution with you guys. Alright, so hi hi to all of you guys! So yes, this is what I'm talking about. Mega Pinsir is here in Pokemon Go. I would like to show you guys the weather. It's cloudy in-game, cloudy. Cloudy in cloudy. That's a new weather, guys. But partly cloudy would be better because, uh, you know, Mega Pinsir is double weak to rock and uh, having... Partly cloudy would definitely be better. So I will show you guys that I've already used my pass for this particular battle because I wanted to check and see the moves. Send advice to my friends and I fought it to roughly hit great health and I left the lobby. So we're gonna jump straight into the lobby right now. Alright, I'm not mega evolved the pincer yet. So this is the team I'll be using. My Mega Aerodactyl, Shando Mega Aerodactyl level 50, level 50 Rampados and level 50 Shadow Tyranitas. All of them all have rock moves. So um, let's go ahead and see how long we take to solo this. Not gonna invite anybody and uh, it's not going to be uh, that difficult, but neither is it going to be that easy. It should be really, really close, alright? Alright guys, and the battle is starting in 10 seconds time. I'd like to say one thing though, I apologize for all the noise interruption. It's really, really noisy around me because uh, my vehicle is moving around. So here we go, man. The battle against Mega Pinsir starts. Alright, so it's a bug and flying typing Pokemon, so hence it is double weak to rock. Using Mega Aerodactyl is the best counter against it. There's a slight delay over there, but it's totally fine. So this has Rock Smash and also Vice Grip. I know it has Vice Grip, I didn't check the fast move. I didn't notice the fast move. So Vice Grip will be resisted thanks to the rock typing that all the rock type Pokemon would have. Alright, so it's going pretty well for now. Okay, the health seems to be going down relatively steadily. And Mega Aerodactyl is the number one attacker against... Um, Mega Pinsir following up with Rampados following up with Shadow Tyranita but in certain situations Shadow Tyranita is better at level 40 but since I'm using level 50 actually sh level 50 Rampados is better than Shadow Tyranita at level 50 I've already run the simulations on Pokey Battler so hence why I knew it alright so uh, my first uh, Mega is down my first Pokemon is down the <laughs> Rock Smash is doing a lot of damage, man. I definitely will have to re-lobby. If it's running, you know, like Fury Cutter or Bug Bite, I don't think I need to re-lobby at all because you will need like a total of, I believe, it's six, yeah, one Mega Aerodactyl and I believe one Rampados and four Shadow Tyranita will be enough. All right, so we're doing relatively well. All right, it's really down to almost uh, three quarters health left. Shadow Tyranita is out right now. So the thing is, uh, the Rock Smash is going to do a lot of damage to us because, you know, um, Tyranita is Dark and rock typing right so it's double weak to fighting right but one stone edge is still gonna deal a lot of damage to the mega pincer all right so another thing to take note though that the mega pincer is very very strong in terms of uh, its stats its defense is also relatively high so you know not having a double weak to any typing we probably wouldn't be able to do a solo against it so since it is double weak to rock it is possible to do the solo on it Alright, so we are at 190 seconds left already. Looks very, very good for us. Not even two minutes left and... Uh, not, mi not even two minutes in, sorry. And we are already almost at red health. So remember, the health must reach in between the two letter S for super effective. Effectively uh, reaching in between the two letter F. I'm just going to see uh, at what Pokemon I'm at. I'm on my fourth uh, Tyranita already. Alright, so it's down to half health at 172 seconds left on the clock. Very good. There are some like houseflies or whatever around me like trying to disturb me but I'm sorry I'm not gonna get distracted I'm gonna focus all right and there's like a lot of noise interruption and whatsoever but it's okay not to worry I will focus I'll focus to continue to tap my charge moves all right 150 seconds left on the clock already and it's roughly left with 35% to 40% health left 40% health all right looking pretty all right looking pretty all right but remember when we relobby the Mega Pincer will recover its health. It applies for any Red Boss that you go after, whether it's a Tier 1, Tier 3, Tier 5, or even Mega. All of them will recover health as long as there's nobody in the battle doing any damage to the Mega Pokemon or the Red Boss itself at all. Alright, so we are 3 minutes in. It's almost down to Red Health. Right? I'm going to see if I can get it down to Red Health. Remember, I do not have Weather Boost right now. If we actually do have Weather Boost, definitely we can... Uh, Take it down much easier, it's down to red health already, my Tyranita is going to faint, it's okay, alright, remember Tyranita double weak to fighting, so hence why it goes down that quickly, alright, great, we've got no glitch at all, we're going to quickly heal up our Pokemon, hoping there's no network error whatsoever, uh, okay, we are back into the lobby, 
great. We are good. See, the health went from red now back up to yellow again. Excuse me, excuse me, please do not lag. Alright, so I'm going to try and take out the uh, Mega Pincer quickly so that I can make it for the other Mega Pincer over there. So I'd like to get some energy for this. And normally what I do is after getting the Pokemon's energy, I will um, Mega Evolve them for 30 days. And then they will build it up to the Max level, the Max Mega level. Not the level 50, but Max Mega level. Alright, so uh, almost there, almost there. Mega Aerodactyl doing your thing, man. Shando Mega Aerodactyl, very happy that I was able to get this. And uh, definitely the best rock type attacker right now. And uh, probably for the near future also. Alright, going relatively well. We are left with 60 seconds, a minute left. A lot of houseflies disturbing me. But like I said, I'm so focused on this that I don't even get distracted by them. Okay, come on, Rampados. Do your thing, man. I know you are more glassy than any other rock-type Pokemon out there. But your damage is just insane, alright? Look at the amount of damage from the rock slide, man. Alright, Vice Grip in doing a lot of damage to us because we resist the moves. Very, very good. Alright, another rock slide. And uh, should be done with a few more... Excuse me, we need the Tyranita. Alright, we are left with 30 seconds. Okay, a few more smackdowns should be enough and it's down. Okay, we took it down with 26 seconds left on the clock, man. That is very, very okay. I wouldn't say super duper awesome. Could have been better. We have partly cloudy and if I have, um, you know, Rampados, full team of Rampados team. But, yep, a solo against Pinsel. We got two red candy XL from that. Very happy to get that as the reward. Wow, I'm very, very happy. That's definitely the best reward. Alright, I do not need a Hando, neither do I need a Shando for this really because we're going to Mega Evolve this Shando later on. Alright, after I catch this pincer, let me catch this first. Excuse me, Brandon, don't drop the ball. One more thing though, if you guys want to get extra Candy XL for pincer, what I would suggest you guys to do, you guys can Mega Evolve either a Beedrill, a Caesar, or a Primal Kyogre because Primal Kyogre, it's a rainy permanent boost Pokemon. It will boost Bug, Water and Electric also. So you get extra candies from that. Well, we caught the pincer. For me, I'm not too bothered about the XL candy that much, so hence why I'm using Mega Aerodactyl for now. Eight minutes left or that Mega Pincer, I'll run there later on. All right, so let's go ahead to search for pincer. Yes, this is the pincer that I will be Mega Evolving with you guys. Check it out. It is my Shando that I caught like five years ago. And uh, you guys know what? I was actually grinding. This was the first time I believe a pincer was out in the shiny form. And I actually go plus this while grinding with Auntie Gladys and Anne in the car. I didn't even know there was a Shando until like around Almost a year later that I did a appraisal and I realized that, oh my god, it's a Shando. So here we go, man. We're going to do the evolution for the Shando Pincer. And it goes up to, oh, how much CP? 4,000 uh, something CP, right? One thing though, the attack stat actually goes up to 305, being higher than even Mewtwo. Mewtwo's base attack stat is 300. This is 305. And it being a rock, sorry, not rock, but bug and flying typing Pokemon. All right, oh my god, it looks so nice, man. It looks like some animated, like, Digimon looking Pokemon. In the shiny form. I think that's really the coolest. But by X scissors, that's what you want to have. And uh, that's that for now. Alright, so that is all that I have to show to you guys in this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching me do the solo against Mega Pincer and also do the evolution for the Shando Pincer. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely remember to leave a like on the video. We much appreciate it. Thank you very much. And I'll see you guys in the next episode in the next video. Alright, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.